Welcome to Devices Setup, and today we will learn how to log in into your device using 192.168.10.1 IP address. So this IP address is used mainly by both routers and Wi-Fi extenders. So you can use this IP for setting up your devices and to log in into your web interface. Moreover, once logged in, you will be able to change their SSID, password, create guest network block sites, use parental control, enable Mac filtering, etc. So let's begin. So in this video, I'll explain both router and Wi-Fi extender login using this IP address. To start with, make sure your device is plugged into a power source with stable power LED. Also, for your router setup, connect an Ethernet cable from your modem to the WAN port or internet port of the router if not already set up. Next, use your phone or computer and connect to the router's network SSID showing up in the Wi Fi list. And in case you're doing it for the extender, then connect to the extender's SSID showing up in the Wi Fi list. You can find the default SSID, username, and password written on the sticker pasted on the back side of your device. Open a browser and into the URL type 192.168.10.1 and hit enter. This will take you to the router's login page. In case if you are connected to the router's SSID or will take you to the extender's login page if in case you are connected to your extender's SSID. So on the login page type the username and password and if you never change the username and password then the default one should work for you. And if you don't know the default username and password then you can use Google to search for default username and password of your router or Wi-Fi extender. For example, if I want to know about my Netgear router, then I can search on Google, like what is the default username and password of Netgear routers? Similarly, you can check for yours and type those credentials. And in case if they don't work, then try to click on forget username or password option. And if that also doesn't work, then the last option is to reset your device. But be cautious before doing so, as resetting it to factory default settings, Will disconnect all your devices from the router. So after reset, you will have to set them up again from scratch. You can watch video on our channel and learn how to reset your router, or else learn how to reset your Wi-Fi extender. Once done, try to log in again by connecting to your device default SSID showing up in the Wi-Fi list, then simply accessing the same IP address. And this time, you should be able to log in easily. Lastly, if you found this video helpful then do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to the channel. Also, you guys can hire me for any technical issues related to routers, extenders, printers, security cameras, or any other Wi-Fi devices. You simply need to email me your issue on fixallissues07 at gmail.com and I'll fix it for you on very nominal charges. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.